Yeah. TV fanatic, huge Legacies fans. Oh, okay. They're all out there waiting with bated breath to hear what everybody has to say. Are you live or are you? Oh, no. I'm okay, just. Okay. Oh, that, that would be too much pressure on me, I have to say. <laughs> um, so let's talk first of all about the recent happenings with the prison world and how it released Hope's Darkness. It got rid of maybe forever a tremendous TVD yes. universe villain and how it opens up all of the storylines, powers, relationships, Alaric's mistake of sending students there. Go for it. <laughs> well, first and foremost, we finally got to fulfill, fulfill our series-long dream of getting Kai Parker back, um, having Chris Wood back in the family, which was incredible. But really what that whole experience at the stage for is one, um, that Sphinx certainly knew a lot. He predicted a lot, and there's a lot of stuff that he predicted that has not been shown yet on the show. So you can look forward to now that he talked about what was the line? Uh, something here and not the daughters. Yeah, the yeah. here, like time the daughters, fractures. Here and not here. Yeah, yeah, here and not here. Um, there's a lot more to come from that prophecy nice. that the Sphinx delivered many, many episodes ago. Nice. We've also put Josie in a situation where her darkness that's um, been kind of tap, tap, tapping on the door for her um, is now cemented by this abundance of black magic. So she's going to be definitely uh, a problem moving forward. Problem. Yeah, it's really a real issue. And then, of course, Landon has just like evolved his powers into the ultimate. He can fly, but how do you do that again? I'm not exactly on command, though. Yeah. So that'll be his journey. Is how, do, how does this work? How does that work? What does it mean? And we also have Hope, who hasn't yet grown into her tribe. Is, tribe exactly. Herself, so. Well, that's, you know, we talk about characters that when you create the character, you know eventually a certain road will appear for them. And with Elena, it was always, Elena will eventually be a vampire. We just needed to decide when. Hope will eventually be a fully realized tribrid, but part of the journey of the series will be getting her there. And will Alaric suffer any consequences for the decision he made to send students basically to help? <laughs> well, I'd argue, I'd argue he has. Yeah. I, I think he paid a pretty heavy toll. Um, but I think I think a lot of it will be also Alaric sort of figuring out why he's a different version of himself. That was an Alaric right before the show began. Mm -hmm. We have picked up Alaric as we know him. So we have these distinct time periods with Vampire Diaries Alaric, who was a hunter, to Dad Alaric. And that was a weird in-between. And so he sure. will... He will certainly atone himself yeah. and look at how far he's come. And you know what? Twitter is just screaming to find out whether or not Penelope Parker will ever return oh, and Penelope ignite Parker. Posey how much again. We love her. Um, I, you know, all I will say about relationships that work on this show is that there's always an open door to go back and re-explore them. And that same is true always with Penelope Park. But right now, we are in a Josie, dark Josie, love and triangle with herself. And everything that means. <laughs> and everything that means, absolutely. And we also said goodbye to Sebastian in the oh, prison world. Yeah. <laughs> is is that going to be a permanent thing? And how's that going to affect Lizzie? Who seemed to... She seemed to pick herself up pretty I quick. I mean, it's yeah. kind of the same answer. It's like, yeah. as, as stories present, there's also a whole business side of the business that of affects course. all these things yeah. and after availability. And and so that's a part of it I think a lot of times fans don't see. Uh, and do you have any fans from the previous shows, or not fans, <laughs> any actors from the previous shows that we can look forward to coming up? Well, you know, I just ran into Claire Holt at uh, Sushi oh. <laughs> in California. And she's like, you know, I'm free anytime you want me to come back. So we'll, we'll try to figure that out at some point. And That'd be awesome. Of course, you know, we still knock on Candace Ackler's door every day, um, waiting for the right story to present itself. And one day we'll, we know we'll have her in the family. Uh, but the door is truly always open. Wonderful. Thank you guys Thank so you much. Thank you. Bye.